Hello, and welcome to another edition of Beaver Finance. I'm your host, Robert T. Anderson. In today's series, we're here to talk to you about tax-free savings accounts. Now, this is part two of our TFSA series. Um, in our first video, uh, we talked about what is a tax-free savings account. Uh, so if you've missed that video, uh, you can watch it on the link up, up, up above. In this video, we will dive deeper into how to best use your TFSA to reach all of your financial goals. Uh, I think TFSAs are definitely a favorite topic among many Canadians, uh, so you won't want to miss this. Now, first we want to recap um, what is a TFSA. So, a TFSA is a tax-sheltered account. Um, it allows for tax-free withdrawals, as well as um, uh, tax-free growth, hence tax-sheltered. Um, you also contribute to your TFSA with after-tax dollars, meaning uh, after you earn your paycheck and taxes uh, deducted, you use th those monies uh, to contribute to your TFSA. Um, so with the recap, um, behind us. Um, let's take a deeper dive uh, into tax-free savings accounts. So um, tax-free savings accounts can be used for many things. Um, first and foremost, um, it can be used um, as an emergency fund. So a lot of people might have a tax-free savings account um, either instead of or in conjunction with a regular savings account at the bank. Um, so, um, you may be able to transfer money into your TFSA right from your checking account. Um, so, it can be easy to have um, cash in your tax-free savings account um, for the purposes of an emergency fund. Uh, now, if you'd like to learn more about how to structure emergency funds, uh, we do have uh, two videos on a, um, emergency funds already. Uh, first being how to fund and maximize your emergency fund. And then part two that recently came out on how to structure your emergency funds. Uh, so that one's exciting uh, that you won't wanna miss. Uh, you can view those uh, videos uh, after this uh, on our YouTube page. Um, the next purpose for a tax-free savings account could be for um, a down payment um, if you haven't already purchased um, your home, um, or if you're looking to save for a second or third property. Um, it's easy in the sense that, um, you know, depending on the timeline, um, you can take zero risk, um, you can hold cash, um, earn um, minimal interest right now, just based on current interest rates. Um, or if you so choose, uh, you can invest in a lower, low risk uh, investments uh, that might help yield um, a little higher return um, with uh, minimal or manageable uh, downside risk. Um, you know, so obviously, you know, you'd want to layer um, that risk depending on the timeline. Uh, but if your timeline is shorter, obviously, um, you know, you're better off uh, not risking any uh, of that down payment. So second, um, TFSA can definitely be used for a down payment. Um, as well, I think, you know, a lot of us may realize that a TFSA can be used for retirement, but I find, um, you know, and when I hear these surveys come out um, from the banks or the insurance companies that, um, you know, almost 50% of Canadians are holding only cash in their tax free savings accounts, I kind of get worried because um, a tax free savings account is a great tool um, to save for retirement as well. Um, I know a lot of people, um, you know, may have different investments in their tax free savings account, um, some meant for short term potentials, uh, but then, um, you know, starting over time um, to take uh, more risk um, and invest appropriately for retirement. So um, definitely a tax free savings account can be used for retirement. Um, especially when uh, you may not get that tax break right today, 
um, when you contribute to your TFSA, unlike an RSP you would. Um, but, um, and why it's so appealing is that um, when you go to retire, uh, withdrawals aren't taxed. So your tax bill in retirement um, is something um, you know to manage. Uh, when we think of tax planning, um, we'll talk about this in future videos, um, but definitely um, you know being able to manage your tax bill in retirement. Uh, it, you know, for some people, certainly those that have saved a lot for retirement, tax could be their bi biggest expense in retirement um, outside of um, uh, you know their living um, costs, right? Whether that's um, property taxes, um, home insurance, uh, utilities, um, tax could be a, a bigger bill for some, um, or definitely one that needs to be managed. So retirement, big piece, um, you know, tax-free savings accounts, um, of course, can be used for trading as well, uh, stock trading uh, or ETF trading um, in a self-directed account. Uh, so someone could buy and sell stocks. Uh, now, um, you do want to be careful in the sense that um, it's for the purposes of trading, it only remains tax-free within reason. Uh, I find um, you know, that is something that people do forget um, because you know as soon as you're buying and selling over a certain threshold, um, the CRA can um, deem your activity in the account um, to be for the purposes of uh, earning income. Uh, and then, um, you know, could be subject to penalties, taxation, um, you know, and other, um, you know, disciplinary uh, actions that uh, you do want to avoid. Um, however, um, on a short-term basis, if you're doing the odd trade here or there, it's perfectly okay. Obviously, you need to build up your positions uh, in your TFSA. They understand that. Um, so it's it's more so for those bad actors that are doing it um, to despite tax or avoid tax um, that uh, they're most concerned about. So trade within reason, um, but do, do know that you can trade in your TFSA. Um, second, uh, can be, you know, it can be used, um, you know, really for all the above that I mentioned. Um, you know, don't think, um, you know, like I referenced that article uh, where it has to be all cash. Um, keep in mind, you can have some in cash, uh, you can have short-term investments that maybe are for a down payment or maybe a purchase of a business or, um, you know, or for this, a big trip you want to take in a few years. Um, you know, you can have some where you trade it uh, and then others that, other monies that's for retirement. You can have it all separated in separate investments. Um, that might be tricky for one to handle. Uh, so you may want to consider uh, having separate TFSAs. Uh, they may even be at separate institutions. Um, so, uh, you know, do keep in mind TFSA can be for all purposes uh, and you can structure it as so. So bonus tip uh, for your TFSA uh, that we want to make sure you remember uh, is that your TFSA limit accumulates every year um, or ha it has accumulated um, each year uh, and it will increase uh, every year after um, unless um, you know, the government uh, starts to clamp down on tax-free savings accounts, which at some point they may, as the limit does increase uh, quite rapidly. Um, so that is something that, uh, you know, depending on how old you are now and how old you were in 2009, and they were um, uh, first um, uh, set up for Canadians, um, that will dictate what your contribution level is. Um, we will, I will put a link in the uh, description um, of this video. Um, where you can, um, one, um, look up what the maximum contribution room is uh, if you're um, of a certain age or older, and two, a mechanism on how you can uh, check with CRA to best know what your TFSA contribution level is. Um, uh, next, so how do, how do I structure my TFSA or how do I use my tax-free savings account? Well, I do have two. Uh, TFSAs. Um, the first being um, a TFSA that uh, I do use for multiple goals. Um, so I do use part of my TFSA um, as um, a sinking fund. So 
it will be money that I use uh, on an annual basis uh, for certain expenses that I have that I pay on a lump sum. Um, so I just have that in actual money market. Uh, so it earns very basic uh, interest. Um, principal is protected, um, but it's uh, liquid. Um, so I can uh, withdraw it um, within a few business days and it reaches my account. Um, so I've got that. Um, I have, have the majority of my TFSA in what's called a balanced fund. Uh, so it's a balanced mutual fund. Um, so that makes up 60% um, equities or stocks and 40% fixed income or bond exposure. Uh, bond, balanced fund is very common. Um, and um, for me, it's more so for uh, medium term money uh, that I might need in the next three to seven years where I want to earn uh, a higher return that I can earn the interest. Um, but I also still want to participate in uh, the stock market. And even if we do see a downturn, I do contribute enough to it um, to dollar cost average. And I would be able to build out of my position if any of my gains um, uh, were to go down uh, with the stock market. So I am comfortable um, with that um, low to medium risk in a balanced fund. And then lastly, uh, I do have some funds uh, that are long-term in nature. Um, so I do have um, uh, an alternative health fund uh, that's focused on um, a few um, uh, marijuana players, as well as a lot of the companies working on the vaccine. Um, so a lot of, um, you know, the big healthcare, Pfizer's, um, you know, Moderna's of the world uh, that we hear about every day. Uh, and then lastly, I have a U.S. Uh, all cap fund um, that invests in a lot of the trends um, that we're seeing in tech, um, you know, mobile pro payment processing, cloud computing, AI, um, 5G, um, you name it. Um, that fund is uh, focused on it. It's all growth oriented. So just some higher risk funds. You know, I've got a much smaller portion of my contributions going towards it, but I do want some of my TFSA focused uh, long term. And then eventually, you know, once I reach a certain stage in my life and family, I will then switch that to um, predominantly long term. Um, so that's how I structure my tax free savings account. Uh, if you want to watch our full video on the basics of TFSAs, uh, you can watch that next on our YouTube channel. Um, and then, of course, if you got value out of this video and you like this video, um, please like um, and subscribe to our channel. Uh, you know, you will uh, want to get notified on future videos. Uh, and then question of the day. So let us know first if you have a TFSA. Uh, and then also let us know how you use your tax-free savings account. Uh, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, so please leave a comment uh, below. Uh, and thanks for watching this video. We'll catch you in the next video.